It's really crazy because out of everybody in my life, my dad was the last person I would ever expect to go vegan. It was really one of the most shocking things that, have, that has ever happened to me, I think. But once he had his heart attack, I was absolutely not going to let him continue living his life without veganism being a part of it. So there she was going like, do it, dad, do it. And she seemed scared, like, because that I almost died. So I said, you know what? I've eaten, like, the way I wanted to for 47 years at that point. And it led me here. So, I, I, you know what? I'll try eating your way for six months. Why not? It's the least I could do. So I, I kind of entered into this half-ass vegan equation where I was like, I will do this for six months. It's going to be very difficult. But at the end of six months, I'll just go back to eating meat and animal products and stuff. And so uh, I didn't, it's been a year. And I never, like, I'm never tempted. There were a few things that inspired me to go vegan. My mom has been vegetarian most of my life, so I've seen her go for years without meat. And that was definitely a huge part of the inspiration because she never really pushed it on me. But whenever I was curious about vegetarianism, I would ask her questions and she would tell me the honest truth. And I, I remember times in my youth where I would kind of be confused why she wasn't eating meat and she would tell me I, I, I can't eat an animal. And so that kind of always stuck with me. What really pushed me was my rabbit, Cinnamon Bun, when I adopted her. She was in a really terrible condition. I remember holding her and she was shaking and I felt that if I didn't adopt her, nobody else would. So I brought her home and after a few months of really showing her how much I, I really do love her, she came to understand that I was never going to inflict any harm upon her. And to see what human compassion could do to a traumatized animal, it really just changed everything for me. I felt like after that, if I weren't to go vegan, it would be ignoring the cold hard truth that was right in front of me. That kid saved my life. Good thing she had her own identity, shaped her own opinions, formed her own ideas about how she felt about things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't listen to me. All that time that I was sitting there going like, oh, why would you be vegan? It seems so hard. She stuck by it because that's who she is. That's what her character is. And then I benefited from it. Imagine if she had listened to me. And you're supposed to listen to your father and stuff. But at a certain point, she was like, well, I know what's good for me. And she knew it was good for her, and apparently she knew it was good for me as well. So it's nice to have that, that thing. To say that he's a part of the vegan community, it still shocks me every time. <laughs> I'm now a year into this, and, and it started selfishly. Like, I want to save my life. But now I'm a year into it, and it looks like my, you know, my life is all right for the time being. So you're like, all right, well, why am I still in this? And you realize, like compassion is another reason. Suddenly you're like, oh, let's see how far I can take it. Suddenly you find yourself like less about like, you know, oh, my heart, this is about my health. And more about like, oh, I like that I'm this person. I like what it stands for. I like that it's compassionate. I was a little kid that loved the shit out of animals. And to be, you know, a 48 year old man who delivered on the promise that that kid probably had in his heart. Like, you know, that kid would have been confused. Like, I don't get it. We love animals. Why are we eating lamb? So, you know, it took a minute, four decades, but that thinking finally coalesced in an adult who could push back from the table and be like, you know what, I'm not gonna eat that stuff anymore. I don't need it. There's a lot of other things to eat. It's an incredible way to live your life, knowing that you aren't harming any other living beings. We just want everybody to be compassionate and happy and free to live their lives without any suffering or pain. <laughs>